all right what's up guys welcome back to another video it's your humble and gracious host hima um so so today we're going to talk about metaverse well not exactly metaverse but how you can get access to metaverse and of course through what platforms in this video i'm going to talk about two major platforms that will get you access to the metaverse one is decentraland and the other is the sandbox all right so we're going to start with the login process and what is the decentraland and the sandbox and how you can buy things you know virtually uh through these platforms and actually engage with other people in the metaverse so without further ado let's jump in. i am at the decentraland website all you have to do is go to google and type decentraland and click it and then click the first link that you can find welcome to decentraland um hold on let me get my mouse cursor tool to make things easy all right so you click, click that and then boom this is the website so i already have an account but i'll go with it so all you have to do is just get started um if you scroll down you will see all sorts of stuff in the website so you want to make an account it's just like logging into facebook um it's fairly easy um i found it really easy and anyone can do it um so you press get started and it gives you two options play using your wallet and play as a guest you can play as a guest uh, i'm obviously gonna play using my wallet because i already have a metamask wallet so you can just click that or if you don't feel like uh, connecting your wallet to decentraland you can just play as a guest so uh, we'll go with connect with all right so I'm just gonna like go with the wallet, connect your wallet, you got MetaMask, uh, Fortmatic and Wallet Connect. Whatever wallet that you use, these are three major ones. So I use the MetaMask, so I'm gonna select MetaMask. And then the browser uh, extension will pop in. All you have to do is put your password. I'm just gonna put my password and then boom now all you have to do is connect the decentraland and the metamask so click sign and and it'll just start loading like this um i think it takes a bit time to load um so decentraland is is an open source game all right um it's basically a game type of thing but you got actual people it's just like fortnite or call of duty modern warfare but the different thing is mark zuckerberg's idea behind metaverse is to actually get people into this ready player one if you guys don't know that is it's a movie that was directed by steven spielberg it's about this virtual reality stuff but it came out like a couple of years ago so Mark Zuckerberg's whole idea behind it is to actually create an environment in the real world um, and you can buy things, uh, land, collectibles, etc. And these are actual land pieces in a virtual world where you can actually use real life money to buy. And you have people like Snoop Dogg, Matthew McConaughey, buying land in these uh, metaverse uh, platforms and they're paying a hefty amount of money all right so let's get started okay so pick your avatar i'm just gonna go with this shape um you can select your skin color over here i'm dark skinned so i'm just gonna go with that one if you're white you can press white if you're black you can press black doesn't matter um and then it's just like it reminds me of snap snapchat avatars um kind of look like that um i think i'm happy with this look and you can select the cloth and you go with this one oh neat um i like the music as well it's kind of funky um let me reduce the volume because all right so and then you can select the pants uh shoes something that you like i'm just gonna guess 
some sunglasses collectibles you don't need that yet and then click done so again they want you to name your avatar so i'm just gonna say all right so you can put any name i'll just put bugs bunny 2021 yeah and then you, you can give them your email but i'm not gonna do that um let's see whether they'll let me bypass without providing the email then we have a terms of service and privacy policy um we never read this stuff um it's probably not a good thing to skip this but you know who has the time right so you click agree and they take you to this place called the Genesis Plaza. So it goes, welcome to the Genesis Plaza, all right? And you press got it. And then, so these are like actual people, guys. Yeah. And then you gotta, Press a few buttons, I guess. And yeah, so these are like actual people, I think. Um, so this is the decentralized game, decentral game, decentraland game. So this is the decentraland game that everyone is talking about the metaverse, you know. And if you just go through this hole, You guys hear someone talking? And voila, you come into this uh, sports bar scene. You could actually chat with people. Um, you know, you could um, make friends with them. Um, you can do anything actually. All right, so let's see what's up. So you got a bunch of trees over here. Hey, sir, how you buy See, someone is talking to me and I'm, I'm just trying to ignore them. Um, and you can just go and you can see here um, this green uh, screen is where all the people are at. Um, You can go to an NFT hallway and then you can press E. Yeah, okay. Now, now that we have figured out what this Decentraland is, so let's go and have a look at the land and NFTs and collectibles that are available. So, if you click the marketplace, this is where it takes you to. So you got all sorts of collectibles and in Decentraland, their coin is called Mana. Mana is currently trading around, I think four Australian dollars. Um, so each one of these is from Mana um, and you can buy them. And then the most important thing that I wanna talk about in this video is actually parcels and estates so if you go view all so this is all the land that is available in decentraland that you can buy all right now in the blue it's the land that's available but on the gray side is the land that is not available but you can still bid on it Right. So, for example, if we click this one over here, all right, guys, I'm telling you, people are pouring in actual money to buy these lands because they see some potential. So, if you got that kind of money, my guess is go ahead and do it. So, for example, the land block that we clicked, this one over here, um, it's trading at one million manas. 
So you multiply that by four dollars, you get four million Australian dollars. Um, and you can just buy it. And this is the owner Leopard B O two A. Um, and you can just buy it off of him for four million dollars. That's a lot of money. It's actual money. I'm not joking. This metaverse thing is kicking off. And the land is so expensive. Um, and the other thing I want to tell you guys is what a parcel is. A parcel is a parcel is a block of land in the decentralized, in decentral land. All right. So you go and then that's land, and then you got collectibles. You got all sorts of stuff. I do not recommend putting putting money buying these collectibles, but they could go up. And then if you go to builder, so. They have this option called the scenes. So a scene is something that you can, it's like Minecraft, but for people who doesn't know what Minecraft, you haven't even played Minecraft, a scene is something that you can build on a land. All right, so for you to build a scene, you either need to have a land of your own, so you can, a scene is like a building, right? Or you could get a permit to build a scene on someone else's land. Um, so if you go here, you can name the scene and then go next. You can select the size of the scene and then go create. And all right, so this is the scene that you're gonna build. So you can click Genesis City. Um, you can put, so nature, you can put a tree over here. I can put like a stone pebble. I'm just gonna put a tree and so this is how your land will look like and then you can just um we're just gonna put this building And then once you're done with your scene, you can press publish and it gives you these two options. If you, you can put that in your land or you could just uh, see like this option, which is called the scene pool. You can put this in someone else's land, right? Now, look, I know this sounds entirely weird. I wouldn't say it's crazy, but it's weird, but I think we are starting to see the beginning of a new shift in the real estate market or, or maybe a brand new branch. All right. So you will see in the future, you got brokers who are selling virtual land in the metaverse. So we are seeing that. So this is what I want to talk about is this shift in real estate so we got the traditional real estate where you can go and buy land uh, with money the land that you can actually touch or you could use a metaverse platform and then buy a virtual land where you can it's still a property that is owned by you and all of this is in the ethereum network so no central or governing body is gonna take that away from you and you can build anything you want over there all right um so that's it about this central land i want to talk about the real estate um and of course they also have this um events section where you can go and they have music festivals ted talks etc all sorts of things all right and you can just buy the ticket for it this is actually a really crazy thing and we are seeing a shift in this um what do you call event management and you know 
these massive events that are being done in the metaverse i heard justin bieber did a, a musical concert in the metaverse and snoop dogg has a land in the metaverse and someone else bought that land bought a nearby land for four hundred thousand dollars so a lot of crazy things are happening i cordially invite you guys to go and have a look at these things um these are actual people that are performing <laughs> and it's really interesting all right so that's it for decentraland